Because right now, all I can think about is the anguish. Well, tomorrow's gonna be rough. Because not only do we have to write three, which normally would be so hard anyway, but you fuckers are gonna be there videotaping the whole sad process. So that's gonna be a real treat. Yeah, I mean, I started drawing super early and definitely I looked at comics, but it, it tended to be more comic books. You know, I was, that's, that was always my goal growing up was to get into drawing comic books. And really when we got together, those were the projects that we were trying to make. This little cartoon thing was just something we did. Uh, as a fluke. Learning how to become a cartoonist has been a, an ongoing process because that wasn't what I set out to be. Uh, and I, I think I'm still sort of on that path. I don't have anything interesting to say about writing. You must. The idea of telling a joke in three panels. Oh, that, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, and the idea that, you, that, that those three panels are capable of so much variation. Yeah, yeah. I mean, generally our punchlines are in the second panel, which is super weird. Like, it's almost like there's a three panel strip that someone else made. We come in at the middle, show you the punch, and then we leave the camera on it a little too long. Right, right. <clears throat> like that's it's our al favorite thing. It's to almost do. like documentary comic making. We still have visibility on the, on, on the uh, participants. You ready to do this thing? Yeah. Are you looking for Hannah? I need my thinking ball, I know. Um, so Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday yeah. are the days that we write the strip. From 9 to 10.30, we'll sort of research, like we'll, we'll sort of figure out what's going on. How about some headlines? Ooh. Oh, so there's, there's going to be a, a Tekken 6 patch. The DSILL Little Big Planet Sketcher. We should at least have one Thanksgiving-related. Well, with Black Friday coming up, like, uh, we could definitely do a Black Friday strip. Starting at 10.30, we, we try to make a comic strip based on that concept. Oh, you know what? It, it could have been, because I mean, when we walk into Toys R Us, I mean, you probably still see it, right? Like, you go back and you, and it's like you, you're having the flashbacks. Yeah. The holiday retail. Holiday retail is war. So the idea of the, of the different wars, for us, that seems very panel, too. I served here. I served here. Saw combat during Tickle Me Elmo, Tamagotchi. Tamagotchi even sounds like a, an encounter. In that last panel, he might be like crouching down, touching the floor. This, this is where a man asked me to pull a holiday Barbie out of my ass. We need a line to resolve the script in frame three. I was just a boy. <laughs> she likes it. Well, the afternoon is typically, for him, spent drawing said yeah. comic. Um, my time is, is more loose. <laughs> he looks at porn. I occasionally eat. No, I don't. <laughs> Not here, a woman. Well, <laughs> there's no woman in this video. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, we play games. We play a lot of games. That's important to the process, too. Yeah, you know, I mean... That's, that's what we keep saying. That's what we tell them. That's the genesis of the whole thing. I mean, long before it was a business, it was the two of us in our apartment playing games and, and the and sort of collecting the comics that came out as a result of that. Like during the summer, it gets hard when nothing's coming out, you know, and right. it's a dry time. It's, you know, it's always tough for the most part. It's very rare that, you know, 10.30 comes around and one of us will go, hey, I've got a great idea for a comic, let's do this. Let's do it, uh, you know what, and let's just do it exactly like that without any Yes, yeah. that's, uh, that's perfect the way it is. Usually it's, you know, three hours of, what about this? Is this funnier than that? I don't know. That's pretty funny. I can't think of anything funny. The problem is yeah. that we want the comics to be good. That, 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 that's always dogged us. That's why we don't do a daily comic. I don't think we could do a daily comic. <clears throat> there are people who can do yeah. daily comics and do it well, and we are not those people. We often joke about it like, wow, are we done? I think we joke about it every time we write a comic <laughs> yeah. strip. That this may be our joke. last comic strip. I don't want to disappoint either. Like. Um, you know, we have all these people that read the site every day, like, I would feel horrible if, even when the comic's late, I feel bad. I know that they come to the site every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I want there to be something there for them that they can enjoy. I don't have many of what I would call useful skills, but offering someone a, a JPEG reliably three days a week is a way that I can be useful to people.
We did two comics pretty recently about Uncharted. Those guys actually ordered a hundred prints. For them, for their game to be in Penny Arcade, they thought it was really cool. And that is cool for us. And that's cool for us. Like, I was happy to sign those prints. Well, and it's like, I can't imagine the people who made Uncharted thinking that what we did was cool. Like, that's, that's just neat. Insane. If the idea of being in a Penny Arcade comic is cool, like, if you load it up that day and you see that it's your game, you're like, awesome, and then you see that we shit all over it, you gotta be like, that fucking sucks. Like, <laughs> I can't feel great. This game is amazing. No, listen, this is an incredible control mechanism. <laughs> and shut up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Turn it. Twist it. Reverse it. Watch this shit. Mm. Okay, let me get back up. <laughs> See that shit? Style. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, we, we have a friend who's a tester. He says that when your comic is in Penny Arcade, that's a, that, that can be a very bad day. <laughs> I like to think about it in uh, Spider-Man terms. It's with great power comes great responsibility. I mean, Uncle Ben said it, and it's, you know... It's just as true today. It's just as true today <laughs> as, as the day he died on the street. You weren't able to save him. Yeah. Like, I feel like we have an enormous responsibility, and um, we just have to do our best with it. Thank you.